Okay, so hi there guys. Um, a very warm welcome to you to my session, Careers, Enterprise and the Workplace. So my name's Sneeta Daroch and I'm a careers advisor at the University of Wolverhampton. Um, I've actually been working at the university now for over two years, but I've actually been in careers for up to 16 years, coming up to 16 years. So I've had a lot of experience working within schools, colleges, um, and of course now in HE as well. So I'm going to um, talk through our careers, enterprise and workplace um, menu of services. So what career support and, you know, what support we can actually offer you um, before you even start on your course as well. So, OK, just bear with me I'll to the next slide. Whoops. OK, so this is who we are. So careers, enterprise and the workplace. And we are three different. We're three teams, but we're under the one umbrella. So I'm part of the careers team and um, I've also got two colleagues. So Jenny Podmore, who's also here, she'll be supporting me with the questions and answers. Um, so please keep those coming through. Um, and we've also got another colleague, Sharon Thomas. So there's three advisors within the careers team and we've also got careers consultants. Um, the careers consultants will be assigned to faculties. Um, so depending on the course that you're doing and the faculty that you'll be um, as a part of, you'll have a careers consultant as well. Um, and I'll go through that in a bit more detail um, later on. So the enterprise team as well. So we've got a team of um, professionals who support students who might be interested in setting up their business. Um, and I'll also go through that a bit later on as well. And then of course, you've got the workplace. So we work very closely with the workplace. So the workplace team actually um, support students with jobs, placements, work experience, volunteering, um, and all of that. Um, so we are part of the careers team who prepare and help you to get through the recruitment process. Um, so when you do find a vacancy with the workplace and you want to apply for it, um, you then access the careers team for their services. So just going to move on. So I just wanted to sort of share the, um, the timeline employability um, journey with you. Um, and as you can see, um, before you even arrive, so I, I mentioned that. So before you even sort of join with us at the university and start your course, you will start, um, you would have already started to research. Um, possibly you've got career ideas in mind already. So you might have researched, how do I get into teaching? Or how do I get into nursing? You know, what are the different career routes into this? So, you know, you would have already started that journey, that career research. And I think that's a fantastic way forward because once you've started that journey, you've started doing your research and you've looked at all the different routes you know, you've identified which route is suitable to you. And of course, you've applied to university. Um, and when you start with us on the first day, you can access our career service and enterprise and workplace. We also offer um, career support to you once you leave university. So once your three years or your four years are up, um, we can still support you up to three years after graduating. So it's a really comprehensive service that we do offer. Um, and I will sort of stress that not all students access our services right from the day, you know, they start our uh, start their course. So I will really sort of emphasize on the importance of actually um, getting in touch with us, you know, booking those appointments, you know, uh, making that connection. Um, and that could be done through social media. It could be done through the appointment system, which I'll also discuss, you know, in a bit detail. Um, so, yes, it's about making that connection and getting the support that you need to become more employable. So once you leave university, um, just, just making that, um, you know, um, that, that connection with us. So... Of course, you might want to follow us on social media. So we use different digital platforms such as LinkedIn. We've got Twitter. We've also got Facebook. Um, and what we tend to do is we promote all our events, um, any events that are taking place, employer events, career fairs, 
anything to do with careers, we post it through our um, careers platform and um, through the different social media platforms. So please do follow us um, through that. I'm sure you've all got Facebook accounts um, and most of you will probably probably have Twitter. Um, the LinkedIn um, platform is a professional platform, just like um, it's basically just like an online CV. So it's a really good way of networking. Um, so as you can see on my timeline, you have a journey so it'll take you through so in your first year we usually recommend that you get in touch with ourselves you also get in touch with the workplace and you register so you can actually register on the jobs board um, and to register on the jobs board you will need an up-to-date cv um, so we can support you with your cv getting you know your cv good to go um, and we provide you with feedback on that. So um, once you've done that, you can then register with the jobs board. You can make appointments with the, um, the workplace as well. And they will support you in finding the right um, work experience placement or volunteering opportunity, or perhaps even a placement. Um, so it depends on what you're actually looking for. Um, and some of you might want to start up with doing, say, work experience on campus. So as part of the university, we do take on students to work at the campus as well. Um, so it's to build your experience, to build your employability skills and really get you prepared for the real world of work once you've actually sort of graduated. Um, and some of you might have already been working. So perhaps it's a career change for you and you want to start university. So we can we support everybody. So it's, it's the university of opportunity um, and we're just there to support you throughout. Okay, so moving on to the next section, we, like I said to you earlier, we offer one-to-one -one appointments and all of our appointments are bookable online through our careers portal, um, career space. And you can go in, log yourselves in and book your own appointments and manage your own appointments. And that's the great thing about um, career space. So if you decided, um, actually, I can't, I can't, ma can't make that appointment, I need to cancel it, you know, you can then go back in, you can cancel it, you can give us a reason. Um, so yes, so all the appointments are 20 minutes and they are all impartial, confidential. So we don't share your information unless we get your permission to share your information with the lecturer or possibly an academic coach um, in the university. Otherwise we don't share it. So, okay, I'm just gonna, go to the next slide okay so I've already sort of touched on your um creating your CV so you can create a CV we've also got online careers tools um such as CV builder um and CV 360 um which I'll also go into a bit more detail in my next few slides so some of you might have started a course which is a sandwich placement um with a year in the industry so it well may be that you know you might have a organization that you've already got in mind where you want to do your placement um, or perhaps you're thinking actually i don't have a clue of where i'm going to start um, so the workplace and the careers team will be there to support you right the way through um, and the workplace do advertise on the jobs board um, placements, volunteering opportunities, industry placements as well. And they work very closely with um, local employers as well as international and national employers as well. So they'll have vacancies that they'll come that come through to them. They advertise them on their jobs board. Um, and that's how you can access those opportunities as well. Um, but there's loads of um, job opportunities and graduate websites as well and placement websites which you know we always share with our students um so okay so that that's that part of it um moving on to the speed placement so if somebody wanted to sort of um 
to do a placement and it might be sort of three months or a six months as well so we do offer support with that as well it's not just the year placements that we offer support with so some of you might be thinking actually I don't really want to take a whole year out I might just do the three months keep it short um, and just build on some experience and that's absolutely fine guys um, we can support you with that we can help you to prepare your CV your cover letter and um, your application so anything like that um, even interview tips as well so we can offer all that support to you um, we also we also offer um, practice online recruitment tests as well so we have a lot of different resources on our career space portal um, and we do recommend that you use resources on there as much as possible um, and i cannot emphasize enough we have some fantastic resources on career space. We have the Graduate First, which is an online um, careers assessment tool, which we recommend to students to use. It offers you practice tests so that, you know, you're getting yourself prepared for the actual real test with, with, with the employer during your recruitment process. Um, and what you'll find is that as you go on into second year, um, and then third year, you'll be thinking about graduate opportunities. What am I going to do once I leave university? Um, where can I where can I go to find work? Who can support me? And that's us. We can support you through that journey, so you're not by yourselves. Um, we're there every step of the way. Um, we also offer the one-to-one -one, um, mock interviews. The mock interviews are with the careers consultants. Um, and for that, what we request is that you contact us through careers um, email and um, you send us the job description. We usually say about five days um, notice, um, but the careers consultants are really good in terms of getting back to you really quickly. Um, and if they've got the time, they can slot you in earlier. Um, so if you're, you know, say, for example, the employer hasn't given you notice of your, of your interview, um, we do very much accommodate, we try our best to accommodate you. Um, and you can get interview hints and tips from myself, Jenny and Sharon um, through the one to one 20 minute appointments. Um, but, we, but what we don't do is the mock interviews. And that is done with the consultants. Um, so you can see on the timeline there, there's lots of things that we can support you with, um, you know, signing up for, say, you wanted to start up your own business or, you know, you're looking at your next steps, you're not quite sure what career path to take. So it could be that you're studying a course, for example, I don't know, I'll take, en not engineering, sorry, um, I'll take chemistry. So you might be studying chemistry because you're absolutely fantastic at science, you really enjoy chemistry as a, as a subject, but you're not quite sure what you're going to do in terms of your career. And we're here to help. So we do offer you short 20 minute advice and guidance appointments, but you can get a longer appointment with the careers consultant as well. So hopefully that's sort of given you an insight of what support we can offer you. Um, we also do recruitment fairs throughout the year as well. Um, obviously at the moment it's been a bit difficult, but we are doing loads of virtual activities um, for our students at university. Um, so yes, we have lots of different things we offer. So just going to the next slide. So in a nutshell, this is who we are, the careers team, and these are all the different things we can support and help you with. Um, I think I've touched on some of them. Um, so the interviews, your job hunting, um, offering you a guidance interview as such, um, looking at labour market information. I always say to students, if you're thinking about a particular career, make sure you research that career, make sure you're looking at the labor market information. So what I mean by that is, find out whether these opportunities, these career choices are going to be there in the future. So once you've graduated, for example, um, or is there a decline in the job market for those particular careers? Or is there an increase? So looking at the labor market information is looking at what the job consists of, um, the job profile, um, where are these jobs actually advertised, are they local, are they national, 
can I actually go um, and, and work abroad with the degree that I'm studying or with the career choice that I want to go into? So I think that's really important, especially um, in, the, in the current climate and especially with the, the lockdown and the pandemic. Um, I think that's really important. Um, assessment centres. So like I said, once you start applying for graduate roles, you will be expected to do an online assessment as part of the recruitment process. Um, and we have a lot of resources on Career Space Portal that can actually support you through that journey. Um, but we also can support you by having um, meetings. So one-to-one -one meetings, you can have a consultant meeting and go through assessment centre um, information and questions. We also offer um, CV and applications support, which I've mentioned. And of course, then your online professional presence. So in terms of that, I'm going to refer to LinkedIn. So we support you with your CV and we also can support you with your LinkedIn profile. So if you haven't got one set up already, we can definitely help you to set one up. And that is basically all your information, your CV, but on a digital platform. And it's making sure that your professional um, online presence is accurate and that, you know, you want employers to see what they, you know, see what your skills are, what your experiences are. So it's, it's not the same as Facebook. So you wouldn't necessarily be posting social events on there, more of a professional networking tool. Um, and we can support you with that. So where are we based on campus? At the moment, we're also to working remotely, but we're still offering the full service. Um, but when we do return on campus, we are based in the MD building, um, ground floor next to the library. Um, and um, we're open sort of usually from 9.30 to um, 4.30 for the appointments. Um, and we open all year round, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so that is our careers, um, career space um, website address um, and our contact number and email address. And we can support you and provide um, guidance via email as well as in person. Um, and currently we're offering appointments via email, telephone call, or perhaps a Zoom session or even Microsoft Teams and Skype. As you can understand, you know, it's, we're not on campus, so we do offer appointments um, through these various different channels. Okay, just going to move on. So career space, what do we have on career space? So as you can see, we have a wide range of um, resources and this is just a few selected ones that I've put together on the slide, um, but we have loads more. So I've, put, I've mainly put the important ones um, that you will probably use more than the others, um, but please feel free to um, have a look to see what else we actually have. So, I've already mentioned that you can book your appointments, you can manage your appointments. I mentioned CV Builder, so CV360 as well. With the CV Builder, so for example, if you don't have a CV at all, you can use um, CV Builder and start from scratch. Um, and you can sort of put the information in um, and work your way through the different tabs and the different sections. And at the end, what happens is, you can download a template of the CV um, and you can change it according, you know, how you want to. Um, you might not like the template, so you might think, mm, don't like the way that's done, so you can change it. Um, but the tool's there if, if you need it. Your CV360, this is a really useful tool. Um, we've not had this long. So with this tool, you can actually um, upload your CV if you wanted to get instant feedback, this is what this does. So you upload your CV, you get instant feedback and you get a percentage. So it sort of shows you um, 
the areas of your CV that might need tweaking or, you know, or, or you might need to add certain information in or your structure might need adjusting. So it's a really good tool and we recommend us to we recommend to the students um, to use this tool. And once you've uploaded it, you can then submit um, your CV to be reviewed by one of the careers advisors as well. We've also recently just had um, the virtual interview 360, which again is a um, interactive um, virtual interview tool. So you can actually do mock interviews on this as well. And you can generate questions, um, interview type questions. You can answer your questions. You can also have a careers consultant um, who may well use this tool with yourselves and provide you with some feedback. Okay, so th that's a that's a recent tool that we've just had on board, but you know we do recommend using it. And as you can see from you know the other areas that we have, we have lots of relevant support industry reports for your LMI practice psychometric tests through graduate first um, and different career pathways career self-assessments loads of short sort of assessments just to sort of explore what type of careers might be suited to you you know what environment might be suitable for you what sort of you know um, what sort of person you might be where where will you fit in terms of your career okay so I'm just going to move on so we've come to the Wolverhampton Enterprise and Employability Award. Now, this award is embedded into all courses and it is supported by the careers consultants. Um, and as you can see, it comes in three different stages. So you've got your bronze, silver and gold. Your bronze is obviously online. So you can do this via your Canvas dashboard um, and is optional at the moment. Things are changing with this. Um, they change all the time. But currently, um, this is how it stands. Um, and then your silver, you can work towards that um, and your gold. And this is a really good um, uh, this is a really good award to actually complete because you can actually add this to your CV um, and it shows the employer that you have, you know, transferable skills. So, you know, you're doing things like your CV on this, your cover letter, you might be doing some online quizzes, you might be doing a presentation to your to the careers consultant, um, or you might be presenting to a group of students within your course. Um, so there's lots of different things and tasks that you can actually do. You can also work towards um, building on your work experience and your volunteering as well as part of this. Um, and you're supported again with all of this with the careers team and the workplace. So I just lost my cursor. OK, here we are. Next slide. So coming on to the enterprise team. Now, the enterprise team are based in the science park. So they support all students who might have a business idea. So it could be that you're thinking, actually, whilst I'm doing my degree, I've actually got a fantastic business idea um, and I really want to put that forward to somebody. Well, we have a team on board, a professional team um, who can actually support you through through your um, business ideas. So they, as I said, they're based at the Science Park, but currently we're all sort of working remotely um, and they do offer workshops that you can attend um, and then you can have a one to one with them so you can discuss your business idea. You know, you might discuss what resources you've already got available and what resources you might require to support your business idea. Um, and this is all done sort of through the speed project um, and through networking. Um, and it's a, it's a great it's a great opportunity, I think, um, because if if you're somebody who wants to sort of set out, you know, eventually after graduating um, and you're also doing your studies as well. So if you're going into management, for example, or you might go into catering in hospitality um, or, it, or it could be anything, to be honest. Um, the team um, at Enterprise can can most certainly support you through this journey. Um, and we do 
work very closely with the enterprise team as well. So as I said earlier, we're all part of the one umbrella, careers, enterprise and workplace. We're just sort of three different teams within the one. Um, so yes, just moving on. So I've come to um, the workplace now. So the workplace, they offer you the jobs board website where they'll advertise all their positions, be it um, placements or um, graduate jobs, or it could be work experience, it could be sandwich placements, international placements. So the workplace have a team and they support you through your journey. Um, so soon as you start your degree course, you might be thinking, actually, I need a part time job to go alongside my um, degree. I want to build some experience. I also want to build on some income um, and which is what most students want to do. And the workplace are there to support you with that. Um, and they they will just literally help you right the way through. So I would suggest to you to be proactive and and get in touch with careers, get in touch with the workplace um because we we will not know who needs the support and there's so many students um but if you come to us we're there to help you and you can access our support on more than one occasion so there's no limit it's unlimited um and you can come to us anytime um you can email us and we'll get back to you if it's an email within sort of two working days and um, yes, so as you can see, volunteering, sandwich placements, which are industry placements, summer internships, working on campus opportunities. So we've had in the careers department, we've always taken on um, a student as an intern um, every year. And um, so that's given a student an opportunity to build on their experience to, to build on, you know, a working life as well as sort of the academic studies as well. So we do offer quite a bit. Um, so, okay. International placements at the moment, um, what I can say about that at the moment, um, we do have international placements, but with the current pandemic, you know, um, it depends on the country that you want to go to. And we, we recommend to students just to check with the country um, travel travel um, guidelines. Um, but we, we do offer that normally. OK, so just going to move on. So I've come to the international placement. So just to sort of give you an idea of, you know, the countries that we work very closely with. Um, a lot of our students do go to most of these countries um you know well before the pandemic anyway um currently it's it's not sort of happening at the moment but hopefully once we're over this and we're back to some sort of normality you know we can start getting students getting getting out there um so as you can see we offer two to um, 10 months placements for graduates and current students um, flights and accommodations and insurance is arranged and paid for so I think that's really good it's a, it's a great incentive um, because we we do look after our students and, and we do sort of encourage you to perhaps maybe think about going abroad it, it also allows you to sort of learn about the different cultures possibly learn a language when you're out there and just to sort of build on those transferable skills as well as your employability skills um, so, yes, um, what else can I say about that? Um, I, I just think it's fantastic. Um, and when my son was at university, I wanted him to go abroad and do a placement. Unfortunately, he wasn't one of those students that actually wanted to do that at the time. He was studying physics. So I suppose it depends on your undergraduate degree. So what is it that you're studying? You know, um, what experience do you want to gain? Um, and whether you feel confident in actually going out there, you know, to another country and, and building on that and learning the culture. So if you are interested, you get in touch with us, you, you send your CV to the careers, you know, careers email address. Um, you can also send in your cover letter. If you don't have these, please don't worry. Um, we've got the CV builder, we've got the cover letter builder, 
in the career space portal. Um, and we do recommend that you use those resources um, and you get in touch with the workplace. So that's their email address there with the workplace. Um, yes, so just going to move on. Okay, so how can you make contact with us? So you've got your career centre, that's us. You've got enterprise. Um, if you're thinking about setting up a business or you've got a business idea, you're not quite sure where to go with it, you know, or what to do, or what your next steps will be, um, you can get in touch with the enterprise team. And then, of course, the workplace. And we all work together very closely. Um, and just to sort of say that... Um, in addition to all of that that I've talked about, um, we do offer throughout the year. So um, myself and my colleagues are quite heavily involved in um, um, organising um, the Inclusive Careers Conference. So we've just recently, not recently, so we've had we just had it in January. So we usually every year have the Inclusive Careers Conference where we invite employers, we do workshops um, and you guys can book on those workshops. And we also have the, career, the careers fairs. We have career fairs in the faculties. So in March, we had the law fair um, and we had loads of very interesting um, law firms delivering workshop sessions, webinars. Um, we've also had the engineering fair as well with the FSC. So what we what we offer throughout the whole year is quite intense. It's very comprehensive. Um, I just feel that it's a fantastic service. And as I said, for most of my um, working years, I've worked mostly in schools and colleges. Um, but coming into a HE sector, um, there's so much that we offer our students um, in terms of just helping you to, to find out more about the opportunities that are actually out there um, and empowering you to take on the sort of ownership and research for yourselves as well in terms of which career path you might want to go into. Um, and we don't just say to you, once you've finished your degree, that's it, you know, we can't support you anymore. We still support our students. So, you know, we see students even after they've graduated. So they might be in their third year after graduating, perhaps, you know, and they might come back to us um, and, and we support them. And we've also got the mentoring, um, the mentoring scheme as well. So you can also um, sign up for that and you could get a mentor assigned to you and they will sort of support you and help you through the process. So if you're finding, if you're struggling finding work or you're not quite sure how to research or you're not quite sure who, who you can connect with or who you can network with. Um, so you, you have the mentoring support there as well. Um, and just to say, you know, it, I think it's just great that so many of you have attended this session um, and, you know, I've been able to sort of talk through with you what our support, you know, what support we actually offer you. Um, just just use us. So come to us straight away um, in the first year, second year. Don't leave it till the last minute. Don't leave it until your final year. We find a lot of students come to us in final year and say, oh, I'm in my final year. I never even knew you existed. <laughs> and it's, you know, and... I really feel for them because they've missed out on so much because that's what we're there for to help you you know i hope you've really found this um of use and interesting um and we're happy to answer any questions thank you very much for listening guys thank you shanita that was that was great really informative and i think it's really important as you know we have applicants with us to ensure that they know who you are before they even step through the doors and um, so they know that the support that you can offer um particularly in some of the opportunities that are available as a current student and then beyond obviously so yeah that was really useful thank you thank you so we're going to open the floor mm -hmm. now everybody for any questions that you have so you'll see that either at the bottom or the top of your screen, depending whether you've got a laptop or a, a mobile device, there's a Q&A option. 
So if you've got any questions um, for Sunita and Jenny um, around, you know, some of the things that Sunita's talked about today, or if you have any questions about sandwiches, volunteering, um, or any of the schemes that um, Sunita's talked about, feel free. Now, now's the opportunity to do so. Um, and we can answer those live for you as well. So it's probably at the bottom of the screen if you're on a laptop, top of the screen if you're on a mobile device. So we'll just open the floor um, just give it a few minutes in case anybody's got any questions. A question from me, Sunita, would be, has, have, has the department ever given any careers advice to an applicant before they've even started university? Yes, definitely. So on our open days, which I should have mentioned, on our open days and postgraduate evenings, we do offer support. So it doesn't, you know, you, you don't have to be a student already with us. You could just come in as a prospective student and, you know, you, you might not be quite sure 100 percent, you know, which degree course is going to be, you know, the most suited to your career choice so yes we do offer that as well we offer guidance we've also got the gateway so i think they delivered a session prior to mine who actually support all students that are interested in coming along to our university um so yes definitely we, we don't turn anybody away okay. yeah they um, they gave us a talk on employability skills and how how you can enhance that so that really tied in well with this uh, this talk that you've done today Sunita. so that's that's really great thank you um so if anybody anybody got any more questions at all for Sunita and Jenny Jenny's been giving us lots of information in the chat as well thank you Jenny no, that's okay um I will be on the chattify feed as well for the rest of the afternoon until 4 p.m so if anyone does have any questions or wants to find out any more information you you can connect with me that way as well for the rest of the afternoon 